Hi guys, today I'm here to do a review on The Reading Promise by Alice Ozma. I first heard of this book on Joe's channel, Retired Book Nerd, and she just went on and on about how great this was, so I checked my library and I saw that they had it. This is a memoir about a girl and her father, and her father reads to her every night for quite a few years. It starts when she's a little girl, and it's her growing up and how reading really molded her life. It goes all the way to when she gets to college. Her father is a school librarian. When she's younger, her mother leaves her father, and so it's just her and her sister and her dad. And then her sister goes off to Germany for a year before college, so she kind of has to cope with just being her and her dad. There are a lot of book-related things in this, obviously. I didn't really expect to enjoy this. I don't really know why, but when Joe was talking about it, I kind of felt the need to check it out. I did find it on audiobook, and I listened to it while I was at work, and I ended up falling in love with it. When I first started it, I thought maybe this was more of a book for a parent, so I didn't think I was really going to enjoy it because I don't have any children. Usually I like to relate to memoirs, and I couldn't relate to this book at all. I am not this close with my dad. He doesn't even read books. My parents are still together, and I didn't really read as a child. I just really started when I was in my 20s, so I don't know how I managed to absolutely love this book, but it was just written perfectly at the very beginning in the audiobook. Her father does the foreword, and I really enjoyed listening to his voice. And then at the beginning of every chapter, he reads a little snippet from a book, and I thought it was just a really great concept, and I thought it fit perfectly in this story. Some of my favorite parts in the book were when she talked about her fear of JFK. I just thought that was hilarious. I was actually laughing out loud at it. And when her father has to retire, he decides to go to an assisted living and read to people there. And I just thought that was really cute. I also cried at the part when she goes to college. I would definitely recommend this to everyone. I thought this was such a great book. But I think parents with young children would really enjoy this read. But I don't have children, and I really enjoyed it. At the end of the book, they actually have a list of the books that they could remember that they read every night. So it kind of gives you a little idea of what you could read if you wanted to start this with your child. I'll leave a link to Joe's video down below because I'm sure she did a much better job at explaining this book, but I kind of wanted to give my input on it. I thoroughly enjoyed this book. I gave it five stars on Goodreads, and I am so glad that I picked it up. I hope this review kind of made you want to pick this book up, and I'd really like to see what you guys think of it. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye!